Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about vision problems. If we note uh, some of the studies that are coming out of Asia on myopia or nearsightedness, we note that the kids as they have come in from the outdoors, as they are studying more inside, probably playing video games like we do here, and at any rate just not getting the amount of sunlight that they used to historically, we find out that they're about uh, three times more apt to become myopic. And we take a look at some of those with Asian background, like Singaporean children who, whose families have moved to Australia. We find out that they get about four times as much sunlight exposure when they're living in Australia and have only one-tenth the risk of ever getting myopia as those children of the same genetic background that live in Singapore. Well, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? Vitamin D is marvelous. It's produced in the skin after sunlight exposure. It helps to decrease the risk of cancer and heart disease and multiple sclerosis. And obviously, now it looks like it decreases the risk of myopia rather dramatically. Then there's another vision problem called age-related macular degeneration, which is very prevalent in elderly people in the United States. Macular degeneration can lead to blindness. And those elderly people who have the lowest levels of vitamin D have a dramatically increased risk of getting macular degeneration. So the next time that you decide that you're not going to go out in the sun because you think it might cause you a skin problem, think again. Get out in the sun. Enjoy the sun. Protect yourself from the sun if you need to with a hat and long sleeve shirt after you've had enough sunlight to take care of your vision, your vitamin D levels, and help you prevent cancer and heart disease. Hope you've enjoyed that segment.